All right, so let's look at these. This better be a nerf. Now, this better be a nerf. Aha, it is, it is, it is. So I was playing with Anivia's mid and, and, and support. Okay, yeah. Wait. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, they made her ultimate or her ultimate cooldown more time, except for level one or you know tier one of it. And then they made her detonation damage. So I'm assuming like what did they do? They made it ten. And they 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 toned it down like forty five percent. What forty five percent AP? Oh, ratio or scaling, and then to fit. Okay, it's five percent. And then yeah, okay, nice. Togath, why base damage down? Right up. Down, 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 down. No, honestly, like I would be getting one shot. Or no, not one shot, but like kind of like three shot by Cho'Gath. Like he autos you three times, slows you, and then you die slowly. Quickly, actually, because he ults you. Elise, okay, what are they doing to Elise? Neurotoxin, what are they doing? Buffing it? They, they should be, oh, nerfing it. Oh, well, these jungles have been really strong right now. Okay, and W, I'm assuming they're just making the attack speed not as much anymore. Yeah, they're toning it down to like 10. Okay. Um, Ezreal, what are they doing? <laughs> ah, really? They're making the Qs more now. Um, uh, Ezreal hasn't been been faring so faring. Sorry, not faring. Faring so well with the new item system to give him more Mystic shot. They they're just gonna buff his Q ratio to synergize Muramana more. Okay, gross. Um, Ivern, are they nerfing him? I've seen a lot of people playing Ivern lately. Faring, faring. Oh my gosh. Faring, faring, faring. Okay, okay. Health, gro health growth, base stats. So he just has less health growth. What is this? I don't understand what health growth is. I don't know. I don't play Ivern. Base health growth de de decreased. E shield decreased later. So basically, his E is like is like not as much on as a big of a shield. I guess they're only toning it down like five. Wait, this is up. Oh no, this is ten. Five, ten, ten, twenty. Okay, guys, it's faring. Why are we still talking about that? Anyways, um, going on a Jinx, Jinx base health, base health, base health decrease. What? Huh? Wait a second. Yeah, but they better do something really big because of this. So Q bonus range increased. Oh my goodness. Wait, is this for fish bones and pow pow? Fish bones bonus attack speed penalty decreased. Hold on, let me read this. Apparently, the new item system hasn't been fair to Jinx, similar to Ezreal earlier. We wanted to make some prior adjustments to the items in general first before tackling her, and now it's finally time. Additionally, she's been primarily out of pro play for a while now. <laughs> it's obvious. We're shifting to some new, new, some of her kit's power from raw stats to her abilities to create more room for skill expression. This is their way of trying to balance the game, I assume. So, I mean, balance Jinx. They're just making her less HP, base like base HP. This is like a lot, though. Down 60. That's like one auto attack. Early game. Two auto attacks. Early game. Um, bonus range. Maybe one, actually. It's still so killable. The so bonus range. Oh my gosh! What? From 75 to 100? Oh. This one's bonus attack speed penalty? Huh. Wait. From 25. Okay, but like... Hmm... So then you want to be going more attack speed items on her, but then you wouldn't really need... I mean, I don't see people go RFC in general. People I mean, usually go like... What is it called? You're going crit anyways, and then you're going like... Um... It is Hurricane. Whatever. Flame Chompers, 90 mana. Arm time, 0.5 seconds. No more flaming. When casting Flame Chompers farther than the max range, now cast max range instead of ca causing you to walk into range and then casting. Wait, what? When casting Flame Chompers farther than max range, it now casts to the max range instead of causing you to walk into range. I don't understand what that means. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of want to play Jinx now. This is out already? Yeah. Is this out already? this out? Why am I... How do I not know this? This isn't out. No, it's not out yet. Why would I... I'm reviewing it for later. 
Anyways, karma. Base karma regen increased. Q cost decreased. Nice. Bringing good karma to support karma. Okay, we love that. So basically, base stats. So her mana regen is 13 now instead of 11.5. I don't play much karma, so I don't know her mana struggles. But it did make her Q less mana now. This is going to be more poke in lane. That's disgusting as I need to carry. I'm sad. This champion is already broken, by the way. Boomy already bought her back, back to life, but even more so. Okay, what's up with Morakaiser? E cooldown, Death's Grasp. I guess this is like a lot of like good for him, his escape. I mean, I don't see him E that much, but when he does E and it lands me, I'm pretty much dead. So I guess they like lowered it like two seconds each. Olaf, get this guy out of here. What do they do? They nerfed him, right? What do they do? Base health decreased, passive bonus attack speed decreased. Now displays the amount of attack speed on passive icons. So now you can see how much he has. Yeah, Olaf is dominating in jungle. That is no joke. Yeah, he actually is. Base stats. So basically, he has uh, less HP. 597? That's so random of a number. But okay, he's 575 now. Um, Passive Berserker's rage. So basically, his, his attack speed bonus isn't as much now. Uh, new. Leave nothing behind. The amount of attack speed being granted is now displayed. Oh, I mean, you just get to see. Good. Get this guy out of here. Pantheon. We were expecting this. Wait, what is this? Balancing out Pantheon's power both mid and in the jungle. What about support though? They don't, they don't recognize in the support. Q now decreased damage both against minions and monsters. Okay, but do you guys even see Pantheon jungle that much? So reduce damage against minions and monsters. What about champions? Hello? 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 Cooldown is more. Okay, but that that's fine, I guess. You just need to dodge it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Aramis, what happened? Ramus rolled down comfortably into the preseason has gained more momentum with cheaper tank mythic items. True. We're reducing some of the top power now that he isn't. Wait, isn't... What did I see about Ramus where he jumps into the people? What is that? I don't even know. Frenzy taunt. So it's always 12 seconds. Oh. His taunt is just always 12 seconds. Like, it used to be 10, but now it's 12. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Rel. Okay, they... I mean, like, I don't know. People hate Rel. People don't like... I don't know. The people, people don't play her that much. But she's pretty strong. Let's see what they did. W1 and W2 ratios increase. What does that even mean? Oh, W. It's like upon granting. Upon, like, casting it. Uh, E ratio increase. Damage ratio. I mean, she doesn't do that much damage. And she doesn't, like... She just has really good CC. That's it. Unbind cooldown decrease. Cooldown bug fixed. Long distance pathing bug fixed. Okay. R damage ratio increased. Okay. So she just more does more damage now. Yeah, so far, yeah, like, Rel hasn't been crazy, so they, they haven't, like, needed to, like, really nerf her, like, they have, like, with Samir Ophelios, by the way, this is nerfed seven times, um, so basically, they just made her AP ratio more, so we're gonna see some top lane AP Rel, and you know how, like, when they play top lane, what's it called, Leona, yeah, interesting. Um, okay, they're just giving her more damage, this is, like, Riot's way of pretty much saying, hey, um, we want to make her buff so you play her and then we're going to nerf her again, most likely. They just, I mean, again, more AP. But people don't even build AP on her. What's the deal? Riven. Okay. The new, yes. Riven has been in a seriously weak spot because if you die one time, you're done. Renekton kills you one time, your game is over. You go one and five. That's it. Gorge Ranker especially. Okay, what do they do? They just make your cooldown every E more. Less. Less. Seraphine. Okay, okay. Someone was mad because they didn't call her queen. Seraphine is often front and center. This Her ulti is very, 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 very strong. This is just a... Okay, that's just a pun, pun about her on a stage. Mid lane and other rules. Yeah, she's support as well. She's in need of some tuning down. Yeah, haha. They did put two puns. So what are they doing? Uh, passive... Uh, passive base note damage. Just lower now. All oh, 118. Is, 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 it goes up with levels. W, the shield. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. Dude, because the fact that she can do so much damage, CC them, and heal so much is, like, ridiculous. Okay, got it. Is this anything to do with AP Shivana? Q, empowered base attack damage and second strike bonus increase. So people are going to want to be going AD Shivana more. While AD Sh Shivana has been tearing up the rift with both fighters and take, AP Shivana has been dragging... Okay, whatever. Behind in the new season, we want to buff AP Shivana in ways that aren't centered around her just spamming fireballs. But like, I don't want that. They're just making her have an easier time clearing so she can get six faster. She can run around the map and then throw her freaking E at you. They're buffing the AP ratios. 
whatever. We'll deal with that later. Hopefully, I don't see as many because I don't think Bobby will play Shivana. Singed. What do they do? They just gave him more AP. Nice. <laughs> this is annoying. I don't like Singed. This is... He already does so much damage! It, it is not even... Min <laughs> Silas, we're, we're, we're unshackling... What's up with all these puns? Q cost flattened, W damage increased. As if Silas didn't do enough damage. 90%? From 85 to 90? Okay. Okay. Q's, Q's is 55 mana across the board. It's usually 70. He's gonna be spamming so many Q's now. No? Whatever. Okay. Yes, Talia jungle has been so broken. Like, I'm scared of it. They're, like, genuinely scared. Passive rock surfing. Let's see. Uh, 12 to 40%. Uh, to 20 to 45. So they're just making it... They're buffing her. Is that what you're saying? Like... Okay. Monsters? So they're making her... So they're... So they're making her faster walking on her rocks. And they are making her Q do less to get monsters, I guess. So she's not going to be ganking as much. We're probably still. Hi, Braca. We are looking Lucky at the new patch 11.3 right now. Udyr, what do they do? They only, they only decreased his R Phoenix stance later. So the later levels, it just does less. I mean, okay. I mean, I don't really see Udir that much, but I know he's pretty strong because he's really tanky to begin with. Also, by the way, thank you. He's the one by Johnny. Okay, Vladimir. What are they doing? R cooldown now flat. They just made it 120 across the board. Why? Okay, items. Lichbane, more ability power. Horizon focus, more. Hyper shot range, I don't really know what that is. If you're an AP, if you play mid laners, then you know it's got decreased. I don't play support, so I don't really know. I mean, actually, wait. Verdant Barrier? Isn't this, like... Or doesn't just build this? Or is it? I don't know. Less less gold cost. Banshee's Veil. Cost more. Ability power. 20 more. 18, whatever. Um, Seeker's Arm Guard now costs more. Okay, total cost. Yeah, it just costs more. Zonia's Hourglass costs more. 100. They made the Staff of Flowing Water less AP. Chem Tech. Petro... I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna try. Um, ability haste is 20 now. This item is already strong. Healing or shielding an ally champion now empowers that ally's damage to an ability or to an enemy champion with 60% grievous wounds for 3 seconds. Okay, but this is broken. Build this item. I want it. Um, okay, fighter items. So basically, you're getting more attack damage from the Silver Mirror Dawn. How come I never see this item? Iron Spike Whip. I see this all the time. Remove. Ha! Iron Spike no longer deals more damage to low health minions. Oh. Oh. The champions. Oh. Whatever. Um, okay. The Marksman items where I actually met. Like, okay. Notice that Phantom Dancer is rarely built. Yeah, I know. And all, yeah, almost never third. And almost never fourth. Not many champions need that much attack speed. Pretty much. Because you already have so much damage. And like, yeah, whatever. We're also adding more oomph to mortal, a mortal shield bow. And it's purchased by hardbound, short-ranged users. A benefit from lifesteal. So Samira. And then it loses out often to Gale Forest, which does the same amount of... Okay. Armor pen. <laughs> Lord Dominix does more armor. Pen, as it should. Um, Immortal Shield Bow now gives you more bonus attack damage. Look how I talk like so... I'm like so proud. <laughs> giving us more attack speed on Immortal As they should! As they should. Is it less, less gold now? A hundred less gold. More attack damage. You get attack damage from building? Less attack speed. What? From 45 to 25? Okay, but it procs on bonus... Like it... Okay. Bonus attack speed 30. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Okay, Gore Drinker, you better nerf this, right? Okay, okay, instead of 12% missing health, it's 8% missing health. Good, get this stuff, no. Leeching Leer, Omnivan, 5% now. So literally 50% down. Um, 100, is he 100 less health? Damn. Rift Maker, Omnivan, <laughs> you guys, it's literally half now. We get double the health. Oh. 
okay, it doesn't give you 5% magic penetration anymore, but you get 8 AP and plus 2 Omnivamp. So that's like 9 Omnivamp, no? Plus 8 AP. That's so random. 8? Eclipse! What are they doing? Uh, They're making the shield more. And the Omnivamp goes down 2%. Ravenous Hydra is getting less Omnivamp. Uh, Steric Gauge gets less shield. Yeah. Four seconds and a five. Tank item? There's so much here. There's literally so much. Okay. Tanks! Force of nature! Y'all absorb bonus movement speed from six to eight. Okay. Dead Man's Plate gives you more, less health, actually. Frozen Heart, less gold. Um, yeah. It gives you less armor now. Um, Flash. Bugs. Okay, now the end of it. Okay, we're looking at the new Lunar Beast skins. We have Fiora, Viego, Annie. Annie doesn't need another skin, guys. Is this nice, though? She's cute. Why does she... Annie already has a Chinese New Year skin. Oh, no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. And Annie, no? Kind of similar, no? Is this having anything to do with Lunar New Year? It does, right? Didn't they just release the... Ophelios, Alistar, Darius. Because people are playing Darius like really a lot right now. Jarvan? Oh my god, yo, Jarvan. Sheesh. It's the piercings for me. Okay. Um, Ophelios. Wow. Wow. Okay. Fiora, Prestige Edition. Okay. But like, why does this look like. Now, these are amazing. Dude, sign me up. I don't want to see this on the rift, but it looks nice. I want to see this, but I don't really like this. This is a lot of damage. This is cute, though. Swain and, uh, Thyra. And then you have Syndra and Talon. Ooh, Talon looks cool. I love this Syndra. This is so nice. Ding. She has such cute hair. Love it. Okay. Um, and then they have some chromas. I wonder if they will give us some LPP chromas. Anyways, that concludes... Patch 11.3. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye.